So institutional practices can propagate healthcare disparities in many ways. So we have to think about, one, how do we relate to the community of patients whom we serve? So we have to make sure that our institutions are really serving the communities, the broad communities of patients in many different ways. So for example, thinking about are we placing our outpatient clinics in places where they can be accessed by the most vulnerable patients who may need that kind of care. So rather than thinking about all of our care being at the main, in an academic medical center, being at the main campus, I think we should really be thinking about placing care closer to where patients live, maybe in neighborhood health centers, where they can be met and greeted by people who are members of that community who may speak the same language and who may make them feel more comfortable than if they're asked solely to travel downtown or to a suburban campus where they may feel less comfortable. So I think thinking about one, how we place our sites of practice. Two, healthcare is a major way in which typically people from low socio lower socioeconomic status or lower educational status have been able to make a good living. Are we hiring and promoting and giving opportunities for advancement to people who live and work in those communities? So I think we have to think deliberately about how we relate to the community and how we provide opportunities for those who live in that community to come and work in our environment and give them an opportunity to grow and advance because there's a lot that we can learn from those people who live in that community. So I think we have to think deliberately about where we place our sites of practice, how we hire and make sure that our hiring practices are really divergent enough to attract people who really represent you know, the broader community, what our patients look like, so that we create an environment that's really welcoming to all.